Amy is a very, very good potter, and, and she's a very accurate potter as well, so, so that should suit her. But um, the, this is going to play very differently to those, um, to those tables she's been on in the States. But, of course, this is a natural habitat. She's, uh, she's well-versed uh, on English eight ball tables. Um, she's just going to have a, a little bit of um, her work cut out with Ryan. I mean, Ryan. Um, Ryan's a very, very good player, but the, the the thing that's in Ryan's advantage at the moment is he's very well practiced. He's been playing a series of money matches, laying down challenges to just about anybody who'll uh, who'll take them. Uh, and he's been he's been on the road quite a lot recently. We've got a foul. Yeah, what happened there? I guess I guess he must have um, touched the ball well. While, while reaching over, he was just leaning. He was just Had to uh, have. There's no, there's no other reason. No. How he's vacated the table. Oh, Amy Beecham hits her first ball on a rash on Apollo. Yeah, there you, you see it. Just tickled, tickled his cue onto that yellow. So. As we mentioned at the, the top of the show, um, the, 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 the new Rasson Apollo table, um, it, uh, it plays, that one's just leaked away, it plays tighter on the corners and a little bit more generous into the middles. Um, you, can, you can definitely power them into the middles. I don't dislike it at all. A couple of the players last night were saying, oh, the middles are a bit big, but it's the same for everyone. And I, I've got absolutely no problem with, um, with, with, with the middle pockets. I mean... They um they play they play Not true. That big. Well, they go there you <laughs> go. Yeah. <laughs> she was hearing me in the outset. Yeah. Well, I I played a little bit on uh, one of the outside tables last night with Dylan Leary, just for a bit of, of a knock. He very kindly lent me his break cue with a 97 mil tip on it, so he could make an absolute dummy out of me. But <laughs> it was interesting to play on, and, and like you say, the middle bags that you can really force them in there without any jump outs. But what was noticeable was. Balls down the rail, you've got to be pinpoint pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, obviously with a, with a brand new table, it's still going to be fairly generous, but you're not going to get that hitting the cue ball, half, or the, sorry, the, the object ball down the rail and halfway down, wobble and drop. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you, you're going to get rewarded for good for good play. Yeah. And that's what you want. Yeah, it keeps you honest, which is And great. this table is identical to all the outside tables as well. There was a slight difference, wasn't there, with the, the table uh, on the TV and there was on the outside tables. The, s the same cut of pocket, but it always seemed a little bit bigger out here, didn't it? Well, whereas these are identical. Well, now. well of course they, they they were different tables, weren't they? You had the you had the, um, the supreme match table, yeah, in the in the arena, and on the outside tables it was the the supreme winner. So the they're winners, a, yeah. they're actually playing on under different conditions, and yeah. that was a complaint from the pro players saying, "Hang on a minute, I'm playing on an entirely it's not an entirely different table, but you know similar template, but yes, a different table, um, and and here." Good shot. That's a very good shot. Yeah, very accurately played. Um, uh, but here, it's a level playing field in on every table. There's 40 of these tables across four rooms. Yeah. And every one of them is identical. I like the way the ball goes in a little bit quieter into the pocket. As well when they, pop. they are very quiet. There Hello. you go. See, there's a that, that just highlights uh, something we I did notice last night, Tony, and it nearly happened there. The amount of times I've seen a ball rattled in that in, in, in that pocket and it goes across the the rail and it ends up in the opposite and that one nearly did nearly did I think we're going to see that a bit this weekend well I think that did happen on the old toes a little bit as well I mean it, the, one of the escape shots when you were snooker was to use the two jaws to come across yes. as well so yeah. it is yeah. you know you can actually play it as a skill, skillful shot yeah but I get it I think they, we are going to see more balls rattled in corners that's for sure but what a great chance this is for Amy Beecham so we'll We'll keep a little um, watch on what's going on around the arena. There's four prelim matches currently underway. Jez Graham is 1-0 up against David Hogan. Peter Molini has beaten Mark Fleming 1-0. Also, Cole Bedford and Cleve Thompson just got underway. Of course, this match a race to seven. Obviously, you have the match clock as well. 50 minutes in total. So, this is a chance that Amy I don't think would have expected to have had. Would have expected to come back to the table when she missed before. 
Well, no, but it, it, this is ideal for Amy, having not hit a ball since she's come back from America. Yeah. Get a of, couple, of this size. Yeah, a couple of bites of the cherry. Yeah. Never a bad thing. I said to her, though, I said, have you, have you not played on the wrestle? And she goes, no, nope, never. <laughs> she says, I've not hit a ball since I've come back from the States. I said, wow. There's a lot of players going to be in that similar situation there. I said, good and, luck. And anyone who didn't turn up last night and, and, and is turning it fresh yeah. today will not have had a knock. They won't have the ability to have a knock because um, a lot of the tables are being prepped. See, this shot here, I think, with the size of the middles, or the how receptive they are, I'd, I'd rather have cut to, this back into the middle. Have to play this to middle. No, no no, question in my eyes. There you go. Down it goes, and Amy <coughs> Beecham. I said it to, to Cy um, in, in the opener that um, players will definitely be changing and adapting their patterns as they, they learn more about this table. And one of the... One of the um, some of the effort and the engineering that's gone into this table has, has been to try and eradicate the bounce out as well. And um, I certainly haven't seen any. Um, the, the liner um, inside the pocket has got a little bit of give. So when the ball hits it, I think it's designed just to, to almost... The, 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 the liner is split in two. Um, so when the ball hits the middle, the liner come, almost kind of hugs the ball into the, into the pocket. And I think that's, um, you know, that's part of the engineering that's gone into it. Um, they're going to prove me wrong and we're going to see a bounce out of this weekend now, but I'm hoping not. No, indeed. Now then, Amy, she's on the yellow. She's looking at playing this yellow into the red that's just to the right of the black ball. She can play off that red, knock this yellow into the middle. It will free up that pocket for the black and also gain position onto her next yellow. Not an easy shot, though, and now she'll use her extension. The other thing I noticed, Tony, as well, is that it, the cushions are, are just fractionally lower she's got away from her slightly may have the yellow to right middle still yeah it's trickier shot though when you've got the cue ball close to the rail and also getting on her next ball is not going to be easy no yeah so the the cushion is just a fraction I'm not sure the exact dimensions but it's just a fraction lower which means the ball hits uh, the cushion slightly differently um, it does mean that when you fire one into the into the corner pocket, if you fire it in hard, if you rattle it, it can jump. You'll see the ball um, actually jump off the table. I haven't seen one actually go off the table, but just jump off the bed and back down again. But there we've seen a couple missed the middle after me bigging it up and saying they were uh, they were manhole covers. Yeah, <laughs> they're not quite. You still need the respect. Well, the rocket, Ryan Lambeth. Red's a bit messy here, aren't they, Tony? Yeah, just be happy to get to the table, I think, after the miss he had with the red in the first frame. He'll just be wanting to try and erase that from his memory. But, yeah, you're right, this, not, this is no gimme finish at all for Ryan Lambeth. And already come a bit unstuck there. He was trying to get across the bulk line to take the one in um, just above the bulk line, the top left. And now he's going to have to reroute. And this is where it becomes a bit sticky because this is the shot that needs to be absolutely accurate. There you go, that's not going to drop. I mean, he, he, he's missed it by a way, he's hit the cushion a, a quite a way down, but on, seen, on the old table, table that would have... I've seen tables take them in. Yeah, yeah on, on the old table, they would have. that would have still gone. Well, he can afford a smile, Ryan Lambeth, but I don't think he'll be smiling inside at the moment because he's given half a chance here to Amy Beecham. She played that well. Yeah, she's got an angle to get down to the ball at the bottom as well. Really nice. Just wants to get the cue ball right on the bottom rail now with a shot. Leaving angle to come back up through the path of the reds onto the uh, large yellow will be the one that's nearest to black. And if she can just get past it, so she has an angle to come back down and that's pretty good for Amy. Delightful. Well, this is exactly what she wanted. Get a hand on the table early doors. You know, being as she hasn't played... Um, with this size of pool ball in the recent, well, the last couple of weeks, let's say, because she has been in the US playing. Nice but control. Yeah, the red was, the red just above the yellow was just in the path, a natural line to go cushion and up the table, so she's just stunned it straight through the gap. And as you say, really controlled that well, judged it to perfection. <coughs> I think she's just thinking of rolling this in, this yellow, and playing the black in the other middle. I, I wondered if she popped this in and screw back and... Play the black in the same pocket, she's not going to. That's definitely the shot I would have been looking at, Tony. I, I don't think there's much c c could go wrong with the one you mentioned, but she's got a pretty big pocket here with the red guarding just above. Yeah. 
maybe a little bit tentative of playing the screw shot because if you get hold of it too much you drag it across it's too crystal we've seen it happen many a time and that's 2 nil to Amy Beecham in a, a dream start <laughs> love it I love it wow what a mess oh. I mean well we've not seen a dry break yet have we <clears throat> no reds are pretty ordinary the yellows go but the eight starting ball. yellow's not easy no it's definitely not and the eight ball doesn't go either nice shot at two nil down that is not a gimme I, I know it's a pretty simple shot but no that that needed making we'll find out now whether that eight goes because I think he's got the opportunity yeah, got to, to move it yeah you've got to kick it out now I don't yeah. think it does go past that red in no. fact it doesn't the trouble is the natural line pushes the eight towards the red doesn't it you could, you could easily tie this up again yeah, so much so that he's decided against it. What if he thinks it'll creep past? And I don't think it creeps past. No, looking at the overhead, I'm pretty sure you're right. I'd have slammed into that because I think if you play it with a lot of force, as long as you make obviously paint the par, you've got to let come and land on the yellow. Surely you'd have to be unlucky yeah. not to. I guess he could leave an angle here um, from a ball to middle to come down and and kick it out it's one of those ideally you want to go cushion first and kick it from behind because the angle he had was pushing it towards the reds he could take the bottom one of the two here well he has to <coughs> he's got to cut this into the middle and kick it the black now this depending on his how he strikes into the black ball here th th he can end up in a uh, bridging over the red anything that's not a bad result he's got the combo do you try and play the cut, not black onto red in the same shot? Yeah. Or do you tr play the double and then play the black in behind the red? Oh, he's knocked it on and tried to pot it, but... Well, I know where he's going now, straight across the side cushion. I I think I... I mean, I know his natural angle. Maybe he couldn't avoid the cannon, but I think I would have just left that because the combo wasn't that difficult. That's close. Yeah, it should be. Great yeah. shot. Very nice. Great shot there from Ryan Lambert, and he needed it. And, and the bonus there, even if he doesn't get it, he's, yeah. he's left Amy in a world of, world of pain. That's the one time in this rule set that you don't mind having a, a ball over the pocket if it's the eight. Yeah, well, Cole was out there waiting. He's been out there for quite a while, so maybe he's waiting on Cleve to turn up. Oh, so, oh, Cleve came in here. He thought oh, he Cleve could, was here, was he? And then he went back. Yeah, that was about five minutes ago. So well, he's definitely he's definitely about. Neither of those players are slouches, so no. I'm surprised there's no score on the board yet. Look at this for a break. Kubel straight back up the middle of the table. Generates all the power through the pack. And not a bad split at all. The balls have just spread far and wide. Well, just noticeable there when you see that shot at the table. Is his that rim's gone off where the between cushion and the, and the surround Love of the that. table? Love that. I hated. Yeah, I hated that rim on the table. Yeah. yeah. Queuing across it. I've, I've, when, when you cushed up, and you play. I, I've caught the rim with me tip before. The one thing I've never understood, Tony, is <coughs> I don't know anybody who liked having that lip, and. Um, and you'd think that Supreme would have acted on the, you know, <laughs> on the feedback from the players because everyone's been moaning about it for years. You'd think it's they'd completely true and flat now. You'd think they just have taken it off years ago. Yeah. I mean, why they haven't is one of the big, been the, one of the biggest bugbears for pool players for years and years, yet they've left it on there. Yeah, well, I think it's a lovely looking table as well. Yeah. Just, you know, just to look at. The, the, I, I love the, um, the, the pocket um, surround. It's yeah. like a brushed aluminium yeah, um, they they look really good. Uh, I said to Cyber um, at the top of the show, it's, it's got a modern look to it. Um, you know, some of these tables, like the old um, Supreme Prince and stuff, they, they they just look antiquated when you see them in a pub nowadays. Well, you should play on the old Super League. They yeah. were great, they were. Yeah, uh, just looks like old furniture, doesn't yeah. it? You know, when you when you go in the antique shop and you see the old furniture lined up there, the tables are reminiscent of that. This has just got a really clean, modern look to it, and I, and I think it looks fantastic. Chic. I was talking to Brian Moss, uh, the referee, just before um, this match. I think I'm not sure if Brian's 
refereeing this one. I haven't noticed yet, but um, just talking to him beforehand, and he said when he saw the pictures of it, the pictures didn't really do it, do it any justice. He said he wasn't sure about the legs. They looked a bit gangly. They looked like um, the, the aliens out of War of the Worlds with the great big legs on it that splayed out. But he said, actually, when you when you see it, they're still in the confines of the of the table, if you know what I mean. So they, yeah. they're, they're, the legs just splay out to the width of the top of the table, so they don't come out proud. Um, they look really good. Mm, interesting. Interesting. I oh, didn't expect that. Nor me. <coughs> Nor me. And uh, Amy with still quite a bit of work to do on these three yellows. It's going to help her case if she can get to the lower one of the two on the right-hand side. Uh, if she can get through to that now, that's going to be a real struggle to clear up from here because she'd need to come back for it. It looks like she can. That's going to help. Now she's looking at... Well, she's tried to leave the one long up the cushion from this angle. That's a very, very tough shot. Over the pocket doesn't really do her much in the way of favours either. She's just come a bit too far for this shot, I think. At least she's take a she's looking at cross double into, into the middle and trying to send the cue ball into red and yellow at the top like that, yeah, but that's a little bit unlucky. Bit. Just seeing now whether that yellow... I don't think it passes to the pocket, but she's, she's looking, looking at cushion into red. First, yeah. yeah. I think that will go, but it's got to be absolutely pinpoint. And she's got a nice angle to just drop to the short rail of the yellow as well. If she gets this, she'd be unlucky not to have a shot on the last yellow. That was a great effort. It was a great effort, yeah. Oh, well, to be fair, she's not <laughs> left right an awful lot there. I mean, that's sticky where she's actually left him if you, when we come back and have a look. But this is uh, her attempt to try and conjure up a finish. She left the one to middle. She left the one to middle, I think. Possibly no. And he's gone for the loss of turn. <coughs> well, actually, that wouldn't have done him any favours at all, the loss of turn there. So maybe he didn't. It all depends if she can knock the shallow in. <coughs> if she has a gap where she could go... In, Hit that yellow that's over the bag directly. I, I think if she pots this yellow, they'll be looking to the referee to make a judgment on whether it's going to be a re rack. No, she can get past there, I'm sure. Yeah, there's enough gap for that, for that cue ball. Do you think? Yeah. Mm. How much you got in your pocket? <laughs> yeah, obviously, clever shot though. Played a loss of turn. Yeah. Hand the table back to. Ryan Lambeth, we still we still we still find out, or, or will we? Yeah, I'm not sure we will now. Cause no, I think, he's played I think lots of turn now. He's a snooker. Turn. Snooker, yeah. I was right though. <laughs> it's close. It is close. I think I think you're probably right. It does just squeeze past. But it I think if you got in, it just with it, you have to have the right angle. But would have been it? interesting to see the referee get his measuring yeah. stick out. He'd have had to get a cue ball out and just just look at that gap. I think. <coughs> well. Only one option here for Amy, and that's to pot the shallow at the snooker. If not, she's going to be leaving Ryan Lamb for the finish. And that's going to be ball in hand. I take, the, take the red next to the black now. That would be me get rid of that one. I can see why she played a one-cushion escape, but I think I prefer the two-cushion escape because you're coming into the line of the ball that would pot it towards the middle. Sacrilege not to not to pot it from from one cushion though, and not to hit it from one cushion. That's pretty perfect. So we're looking at two apiece now, really, unless something dramatic happens with these last four balls. You're right, though, Tony. I mean, there's no noise, just the just the rattle of the ball like as it, it falls into the return at the bottom. The, the, it's all so well cushioned. Just a little knock as it falls into the into the heart of the table. There'll be youngsters everywhere hoping that they can buy one of these tables. And uh, I mean, I know so many that play late into the evening several in their garage. Of, several years of pocket money. And, 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 <laughs> and mum's banging on the floor saying, keep the noise down. 
at 2.15 is going to be Luke Sanji's against Phil Parkin. The Wales against England affair. Yeah, interesting match that. Got some crackers later on. Chris Melling, Clayton Castaldi tonight. About 6 o'clock, I think, that one. That's a real big match. Also, Ronan McCarthy and Cormac Kerr. Yeah, the three Ireland versus Northern Ireland. Yeah, the, the three thirty game, Dom Cooney against John McAllister. I think. Um, yeah, another good matchup. Yeah, it could be. You know, I think people would see John going into that as favourite, but uh, yeah, I think that could be a very, very close game. I expect Dom to do quite well on this table. He's. he's quite a it's going to be interesting to see how they all get on. To be fair, because some will. Uh, but I, don't, I think some won't get on with it. Yeah. Some will and, and I think some will be really appreciative of this sort of table. And we'll talk about those later on as the tournament progresses. So these are the prelims and obviously another prelim coming after this and then we go into the last 64 and then finishing off the last two matches this evening will be from the 32. Suddenly Ryan's hitting his stride here. He looks a different player than he did in those first couple of frames. He seems to have quickly adapted to the pace of the table. And uh, the cue ball is looking... I think the score line's helped him a little bit now as well because I think <laughs> if he'd have gone 3-0 down, you know, it, it, all the demons start to creep in and everything becomes a nightmare. Just needs to be careful here the natural line pushes him towards the two reds he just needs to think about how he's going to land on that yeah he's jacking up he's going to come across well I'm going to say that was knuckle knuckle I think he caught to the side of the knuckle there yeah, yeah. if we can get a replay of that just to just fired it into the into the far knuckle Thing is, if you go into the side, if you don't go straight into the middle of the pocket, you're going to go round the back of the pocket. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Just caught that far, far knuckle. knuckle. We were going to say bounce out there, weren't we? but it wasn't. <laughs> just wondered for a second. I did yeah. just wonder. Just like your face. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Amy now with the angle to kick these two reds out on the top round. She's come wide. She's missed that by a fair margin as well. The way she's played it, she's played it with uh, a bit too much, a little bit too much screw, which has pushed the the cue ball wider. Just need to play it slightly with a more natural cue ball. Just maybe a trace of side to help it around. As soon as you screw that ball, it's going to flatten the angle. He's going to have a look at the, the cut plant here. And she had a go. Is she going to get lucky? Mm. And that's tight. Yes. I think it may just drop off the far knuckle. We, we, we're still yet to see um, how these pockets play with those kind of gentle, gentle shots to, to the far knuckle. That's another really nice clean pot. It doesn't slide in now, but it's... No. Is the red in the way the cross double back? Yeah, I, don't I think the red might be in the way of the yeah, double. Yeah, it's too close to that. Twice across in the middle. Yeah. I don't think it's going to go back. Or is he playing the loss of turn? I don't think there's any chance of that coming He's back. For the twice across. He's got it. Wow, what a, what a shot. shot. Great shot. Yeah, great finish there from Ryan Lambeth. And he gets his nose in front for the first time. Get yourself clearance here. Level things up. Keep the pressure on. Needs the ball and gets one. That yeah, little it's kiss. Good break from Amy there. Yeah. Good contact with the pack. And this is this is probably the friendliest break off I think we've seen in the match. Yeah. Have a look at Beecham's yeah. break there. Yeah, the reds look pretty good. I mean, reds or yellows, to be honest. You can make a case for either. Yeah, it's um, going to be red, surely. I would have thought reds. I think the two yellows at the top are a little bit sticky. Whereas I don't think the, the one out of the two, the one at the top actually passes. I think you'd have to move them. 
she's going to go forward with this positional shot and play the the next red that's just the left of the eight ball into the left center and then she can go up table and just navigate the balls at the top of the table just needs to think about the order she takes those four at the top of the table and she's not come far enough right was that a kick or did she i think she i think she quit on it a little bit but i could be wrong be interested to see that one again as well because i think she did i don't think she did get a kick because i she think she'd have the cue ball cleaned if it was i don't think don't see was. a lot of kicks but no at these events as used to back with the older ball, pool balls everyone using that uh that and that short short now yeah it's definitely something in it People say it was just a fallacy, but uh, definitely reduced the amount of kicks we get in the game. Well, about halfway through the match clock now, just coming up. And this is a great chance for Ryan Lambeth to get his fourth straight frame, get himself a two frame cushion over Amy Beecham. He's just starting to look more confident yeah, he's with every pot. Finding his flow. It's all about the ball on top of the eight. It goes to bottom left, but just needs to make sure he lands it. Well, Ryan. Just saying how confident he looked in there. Yeah. Where's that come from? Bit of the old commentator's curse there. Just... Well, that's just a bad miss. Yeah. Pure and simple. And now the cue ball gets cleaned. This is Amy asking for that to be done. Pretty good pattern here. On reds. They all link to one another. It's just about the eight ball. Similar issue. I don't think could be wrong but I don't think you can I don't know looking at that line I was just wondering whether you could get to the potting angle to pot it into bottom right maybe you can definitely goes to bottom left I think there's just enough of it showing but she's come down to give it a I think she was trying to give the, the red little tap and release it so maybe it's not quite as that's actually handy yeah she can just come across and kiss the kiss the yellow out of the way yeah, you'd have to dig down a little bit just to bring the cue ball into that yellow but if you do, you, so you jack the cue up in the air, cut it into the middle, kick it in the yellow, you land on the other red anyway. Like that. Just going to have another thin cut to middle. Cue ball's going to be tracking a bit, but... There's a couple of ways you can play this. You can play the, the cut, play it with a load of right-hand side and come off two rails, or you can try and screw it into the side rail first and come off the top rail, depending on how deep you think you can dig this cue ball. Load it up the side. She wanted a bit more right hand side on that one to avoid kiss. those yellows, yeah, but she's on it. Yeah. But she's further away from it than she would have liked. I think you just take your medicine here, just <coughs> play a stop shot. Yeah, well one thing about Amy long eight. Amy's a tremendous potter yeah. of the long ball. Yeah. So this will not phase her. Neither will this black ball. And this is looking like three <coughs> all. As Beecham is about to fire back. Down goes the black. Nicely done there from Amy. Lambeth to break. Well, he's made a ball. Doesn't look over impressed with it though. Yeah, you can see why. Two reds. On the right hand cushion, two yellows at the top of the same cushion, red closest to the right hand cushion as well, they're all a bit messy. You just wonder whether the two yellows on the right hand side could be made into a plant, but there's not a lot of space between them. That's not the way to start things off. He's had a couple of those, isn't he, Ryan yeah. Lambeth? Yeah. Well, I just want to say a couple, he's probably had about three or four. Playing it with a Quite a lot of right-hand side, but... It's not going to help you call Zig and throw the cue ball. <coughs> and actually, it killed all the pace off the ball as well. I'm not 
quite sure it was. Yeah, he's tried to come up and give those two yellows yeah. a nudge. Um, got well, that she's, one wrong. Yeah, she's knocked that red onto the top rail, but then she's going to have to come down the table. I, mean, I was going to say, could she nudge him apart and, and leave something awkward there for Ryan? But I don't think it's worth the risk. I think she's still got to go game. Can you make that plant up there? I think this the gap's just, big enough, but you have to be Cubal sort of on the on the bolt line, if you like. No pocket there. So the, the, when I talk about the pockets playing slightly bigger, it makes these shots a little bit easier, just because. Let's see just see that you can just see that pocket protrude slightly more than it does on a on a supreme table it just comes out that fraction more it's just makes it slightly more generous still not gimme though i mean we've seen quite a few balls mr middle we still have to give him a lot of respect but it does make the shot that he just played a second ago into the middle just that fraction easier looking now at the double Doubles are very much about pace control. Well, he's come back a bit narrow with that one, but yeah. he's not left Amy a great deal to go on. She can get through to the, <coughs> excuse me, the yellow that's next to the black into that corner, but she'll want to do something with those two yellows at the top, I'm sure. Could she thin cut the plant? Is it makeable? Because I think if you could maybe... If there is half a chance of this, I think it's worth a risk. I think she had a little go there. Yeah. Always mindful that the cue ball coming right down to the bottom of the table. Yeah, she's trying to play a two and one and get yeah. the yellow in behind this pack over here, but she's just come up a bit short. She's left Ryan a, a, a cut to middle. But it's quite noticeable that Ryan's having a look to see if that eight ball will pass through into that bottom corner as well, past that yellow. I think it might come off the rail and off the yellow and in. So there is half a chance here for Lambeth. Yeah, it's a good opening shot. Just holding the cue ball on that yellow at the top of the table has left this, this one along the cushion. But this is it's tough. Yeah, there you go. Hangs. As I say, you've got to give him absolute respect. Yeah, that was... It was a miss. I think on the other table it would have dropped. Oh, that would have dropped for <laughs> certain. Especially at that pace. Nice to see, though. It is nice to see. We're going to see more missed balls. Just keeps the players honest. If we can get you out there, we'll see some missed balls. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no question about that. I'm only joking, Nick. I know you're right. I know you can play. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> Amy Octim for safety. I don't mind that either because um, she's just pushed that yellow across the pocket, so it means the eight now doesn't go. And it's also not in the heart of the pocket, so it would be a difficult combo to play. So even if Ryan does find something here, it causes him a problem because that eight definitely went previously. Oh, hello. Yeah. So that's, I mean, as I say, having that insurance policy from Amy yeah. could come back and pay off in spades. He's a little bit unlucky here after getting the getting the pot to land so hampered. He's gone for the loss of turn. What he has done, he's left the gap there. That red wall past that yellow. I'm not sure that yellow will be there in a minute. I think <laughs> Amy might. I'll tell you what, if she's brave enough, is to play the loss of turn herself now, yellow onto red and try and bring the cue ball. Yeah, yeah. Screw it back out and just don't leave him that red at the top. But yeah. It's just whether she feels that that red. Thinking red's ahead though, Nick, if she gets this right, if that red's not touching the red up there, Lambeth then would have a shot to come off the red into that snooker back. Yeah. So you've got to be mindful of that as well. So I think that's why she probably. I think she tried to hang that, but she did try and hang it, definitely, and that would have been the right shot. Just a little bit clumsy. 
I think yellow's too far down the table. She, she can't play this off the red and try and can it in. I think she's going to try and play the loss of turn now. Has to, really. But she's got it, and she's played it pretty pretty well. What has Lambeth got? Can he play that shot where he comes slowly off the top rail into this red and snookers her back? I guess that depends on whether it's... Yeah, if it was touching the... Oh, that's good. Very that's nice. That was the shot I said yeah. before. If, it, if you did play that loss of turn shot, you would leave that for your opponent. Pretty big target at the bottom of the table, though, for Amy. She's got the one-cushion escape. Um, and... He'd feel camp, but he's he's making a have to he's play a shot. She has to produce something, so you yeah. know he can play any other shot. He's played the correct shot, Ooh. and, there you, and he's going to get ball in hand out of it as well. Now, what do you do with this ball in hand? Can you get to the potting angle? I think you can. If you put it right on the cushion, I think you can just get through. And now the eight looks like it passes too. So you can have to. Tr well, yeah. I think you could have put it past the yellow, and then you'd nearly be touching the red. Yeah. And then have your queue up in here. Well, this is probably the best option. Yeah, put it off the yellow, I guess. Yeah. Well, you want to go side rail first yeah. into the yellow. Yeah. And it's side also, you, want, I'm, I'm, you need to really leave an angle to try and get back on the black. We're going to top it through. Oh, he's played that brilliantly. That's, That's a great a shot. Super shot. I'd have been looking for sort of screw shots there to, yeah. to play it because I'd have been scared to play it that way and he's played it brilliantly. Great shot from Lambeth. And down goes the black. Cole Bean here playing on the rack on Apollo. Ooh, Amy. That's the first cue we've seen lost off the break. No, it's been made a ball again. Yeah. I should say, we've not seen any dry breaks. What she has done though is left reds open for Ryan Lambeth. And... We haven't seen any break and finishes or reverses, have we, in this? It's been both players have been at the table with opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, good chance of one here. But well, it's yeah. all about that red. He, Ryan, you just saw he sort of leant down there to see if it passes yellow into the bottom right-hand corner. And I think he feels it does. Oh, and he's out the trout. Yeah, that's And okay. he's on it as well. Yeah. It flew past. Probably needs to take the one to the middle. Yeah. Now. But he leaves an angle, he just stuns into the yellow. I'm not sure he mm. meant to come all the way back over there. I'm surprised. I I'm thought he would have stayed where the yellow was. I'm surprised he played play at that pace. Oh. I, I'm with you because coming across the table to this angle, like, what, I mean, what good can that do? Oh, he's missed it. He sort of throws his arm at that one, that, didn't he? Tony, yeah, but I mean, that was careless. What, what's, what was he even on if he? I mean, I know he snooked himself, but even if he gets that, uh, where's he put the eight ball? I, I, it's a shot previous. I just do not understand why he's played it at the pace. He could have chop, dropped that in dead weight and pretty much landed on the yellow and had a nice angle to come two cushions and up top of table. Yeah. If you if you land below it, the yellow's in the way Oof. of getting back up table. Don't That's understand it. A ferocious double there by Amy Beecham into that corner. What a shot that was. Yeah. She took no prisoners with that shot. She's looking now. Where, she, where can she leave Lambeth safe? Yeah, she, in, in breaking up these three yellows, she, she still needs to cover the line to the eight ball. Because again, if Ryan finds a way of, um, and I think that's why she's looking at the ball on the right. She doesn't want to split these three up. Because if Ryan's got a path through to the top pocket, then if he does find a way to put the one over bottom right. That eight ball then has a line. It's come too far. And and now she's opened up the pocket for the eight. <coughs> In moving that yellow. That's yeah. the only I th for me that was the only yellow on the table you didn't want to move. Yeah, pretty much. Because I mean, okay, it goes it goes to middle, but it's m a much harder proposition to get up table to play it to middle than it would have been to Oh Wow. wow. You lucky boy. You are a lucky boy there, Ryan. And Ryan pots the black ball and does the Lambeth walk back to his chair. <laughs> the old 15-second shot clock will soon be with us. Oh, he's potted. Four? No, three. 
Two reds and a yellow. Yep. I'm sure Ryan Lambeth would like to wrap this frame up and get a 6 3 up before that shot clock. You'd like to be on the hill, wouldn't you? Definitely, yeah. Bit messy. Bit of work to do. Oof. Ryan. He's missed a couple of balls like that. You see. Keyboard's touching the yellow there. Mm, still open table as well. Pointed. Surely you've got to go yellows here, haven't you? Oh, I don't know. Just looking at the red. But yeah, but the, the red's the top right. I don't think that yellow passes that red into the bottom right corner, so I think she's had to go reds. Can she dead weight roll this yellow, uh, red into the middle and land on the other one, at the, the red at the bottom? If you can, I think the red at the top goes cushion yellow into the corner, and I think the finish is there. You know, it's not easy, but it's there. And boy, does she need it now. No, no, she went for the long <coughs> ball. That was a little bit snatchy. Didn't stay down on the whole shot there, Amy. Massively overcut there by Ryan Lambeth. Well, he's playing it beside, but that's, that was missed by a, a mile. Well, the Cole Bedford score, the score has disappeared off of uh, our screens. He was 6-0 up, so I'm assuming he's won that 7-0 and it's just gone, but it's, yeah, it's, it's no longer well, Amy on now the live scoring. Red off cushion yellow. No, she's gone in clean and she didn't mean to do that. Look at her face, yeah. It was that easy to play that shot. She didn't give it the, the care and attention it needed and, and she, with doing that, she's left the yellow still sat there in front of that red. Both players just getting a little bit frustrated anyway. We will be now at, well, we are at the 15 seconds a shot and, well, it's sort of gone she quite bizarre, it. this. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, I'm finding it hard to describe what's going on out there, Nick. It's uh, it's all gone a bit bizarre. You're just shaking your head as well, don't you? I don't know. <laughs> she's got a loss of turn here. Can oh. she cannon off, pop the yellow, and leave them snookered? I just don't know oh, anymore. She's missed them. Then again, I mean, Brian, what's he going to do? Just li leave the cue ball up there, I, I suggest, yeah. and yeah. leave Amy firing at the red down the table. That's as good as anything. Just take another look at that. Yeah, this is uh well the 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 cue came off the ha bridge hand very quickly and it was it it was a bit of a wild arm throw, mm. wasn't it? A flailing arm. This is a, well, I'm not going to say gimme, but it is, <laughs> it is really, isn't it? It's, it's an easy chance now for Ryan Lambert to get on the hill and be in a great position to progress into the last 64. Been a funny old game. Entertaining for different reasons. Well, it, it just feels that every frame both players have had a chance. I mean, the scoreline could easily be reversed. It's just, Amy's just not taken a couple of chances that she's had along the way. I mean, there's been misses by both players. Bit of fortune probably, here and there for... Probably in equal amounts, I would have thought. Yeah. The, the good opportunities have, have fallen Ryan's way. And you've got to say, I think overall Ryan has just been the slightly better player. Yeah, so. you have to say that. The, the scoreline's not telling lies. Yeah. Taking out some good finishes, but there's been some careless stuff along the way. There's another one. I mean, okay, maybe it was planned, maybe he judged it well, but I think he was looking to screw past it. I think so as well, but nice black. Yeah. And Lambeth is on the hill. Six minutes 40 still on the clock, so she has time. She's made a ball. Yellows straight away point out as the obvious choice. Yeah. 
very decent chance to far with that. I mean, she's she just wanted to come to the bulk line to drop the one in the top right and leave the one on the top cushion, but she's going to have to take the one to top cushion now. On the top cushion now, sorry, to top right. Bump off the knuckle, which helps. She wouldn't have had very much there if um, the ball had stayed on that right-hand side cushion. She's landed just about plumb. Bit straight. Yep. Now this is the thing with these new Apollo tables is with the old, old table you can f try and force an angle off a jaw here. Now, well, there's the answer to that. If you hit it, if you hit it sweet enough, you can hit it as hard as well, not as hard as you yeah. like, but you can really fair yeah. pump them. Mark Fleming and Peter Mullaney locked up at threes. Oh, oh, Amy. Ooh. Can she see the thinnest edge of this and cut it in the middle? I reckon she's just on this. If she is, it's the only the tiniest bit of this yellow. Oh, she's made Shot. it. Shot. Double, though. I think Double or treble. She is a good she's doubler. Gonna, she's going to cut it back. She's going for the corner. Ah, oh, skinny. And she's Ooh, made that as well. Oh, cue ball was well, tracking. What a finish there from Amy Beecham. Breaking off, he just requires one frame. But it's only four minutes 35. So he'd love a ball here and he's got one. Oh, he's having another go. No. He had a go at going top right. And then it had another go going top left. Um, Bottom right, sorry. Start to run the clock a bit now, don't you? You've got to be a little bit mindful. You've got two in front. If you could just eke out 30 seconds here and there. 45s. Yeah, there is more than enough time on the clock for Amy to get two. I think Ryan's yeah, going to feel under pressure and no one needs Ryan's to make this clearance. Ryan's got the finish here now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And it, just take your time as well with them. Use your 15 seconds for all of these balls. Should be a formality from here. Just needs to find the gap. Well, he just rolls this through now. and He'll play the yellow into the bottom right. And use that red that's next to the yellow to hold the cue ball. Ooh. Oh. Well, he won't be now, I don't think. Well, he can be oh. screw straight back into it. Yeah. Well, this is the end of the match. Hart would have been in the mouth there for a second. These two balls for the match then for Ryan Lambeth. Formality pots. You have to say he's just about been good value for this. Down goes the black ball and Ryan Lambeth will progress to the last 64. He defeats Amy Beecham by seven frames to four.